Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to The Last Flame, what I consider to be one of the best, if not the best, auto battler roguelikes. And every time I've said that, the game hasn't even been out yet. The game is out today in early access, and I'm really pumped to see what's new, what's changed. There's new heroes, there's new modes, new items, bosses, all kinds of stuff. But if you haven't seen the game before, you're in for a huge treat. Whether you like auto battlers, and if you do, you'll probably love this one. Or if you don't know what an auto battler is, or I'm not sure if you like them, this could be a really good first one for you. I'll try and do my best to make it parsable, but we're going to go in. We have all the new, like, late game heroes and stuff, so be warned, it might get a little bit more complicated than if you were to just boot it up yourself. I'll try and explain the best I can. I'm going to pause, I'll be back, pick a couple characters, and we'll explain some basics. All right, so I'm going to grab Alaric and Neria here. They are new characters. You no longer gain passive experience, two per fight. Instead, after each fight, get two additional trophies for every... Okay. Wait. Oh, this has changed. Okay. Additional action at the campfire is just a nice straightforward thing. Dynamite is a crazy fun item. We're at very high risk, high reward. Gain two additional trophy, plus one for every seven you currently have. Wow. I'm going to grab that. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll explain it. But first things first, you've probably seen a map like this before, if you're familiar with roguelikes. We're going to be going up boop, towards the boss. There's multiple zones. We have normal fights, campfires, uh, where we can heal and do other very, very cool things. Elite fights, events, shops, and these are going to be special fights. I don't even remember if they're... They might be slightly harder, but they have a cool, unique reward to them as well. Uh, but let's go up here, probably towards the fire. And I'm just going to waste no time. I'll show you... This is, you know, what to expect. When you press play, the battle will happen automatically. As they attack, you might have seen their mana filling up. When it hits max, they will cast their unique spell. So I'll, I don't know what these characters do yet or what this new, uh, okay, well, okay, I'll have to, I'll pause now. I'll have to read what the heck is going on there. Uh, but don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll look at all those things. We'll learn all that stuff. Uh, what do we got? So we have one who was kind of like a tank and one who is a, I think a magical damage dealer. That's sort of what we've got right now. So I could really do anything. Every crit the hero heals for 3% of the hero's max HP and all summons. You know, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep any of these, but we'll, we'll see. So, we have items as a way to potentially change up our heroes, improve them. But these are just components. We're going to get recipes and blueprints in the future as well. And we'll be able to smash these components together with something that has a special magical effect to make really cool items. But... These are just nice stat sticks. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, do you care about magic power? No. No, you really, really don't. So I can also reroll using flame, which is going to be my HP. That is something that I am down to do. 70 spell power, minus 15% attack speed. Every second, the hero gains a spell power per surge level. But on cast, all stacks are reset. Uh, okay. Interesting. Alara ca cast ener Energica. <laughs> Dealing damage split between all enemies hits. Gain an energy per 15 damage dealt from Energica. Okay. This sounds interesting. It seems like we maybe don't need to attack that fast anyways. Let's get silly with it. Whoop. Whoop. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to pause and I'm going to read that. Okay. It's not that bad. It is not that bad. It looks really bad. More or less, when we start the fight, there's a cap of 90 energy. And when we hit that through various abilities like, uh, like this, gain energy per 15 damage dealt. So when we hit 90 energy, we will surge. Surge is something that can be utilized by things like this. Don't worry, this is not in on every character. These are only the most advanced characters. This is what I'm talking about. These are new. Um, 
we will surge when we hit that 90. And when we hit 90, it resets back down to zero and we have to build it up again. However, every time we surge, the surge slowdown gets added to the max. That's why we're at 100 right now, because it happened once. We went from 90 to 100 needed. So it's going to slowly get harder and harder to increase our surge levels. But every second, you know, gain spell power per surge level. Obviously, we want to have that, that be pretty high. Uh, gonna move you up front. Start fight with a wolf. Give your attack damage to the wolves. It has 550 health, stuff like that. I'm not too, uh, I'm not too worried right now. God, I guess we really want to... We want to save up our trophies, which is what we use to level up heroes. Emily, Gerald, Ringy. I do feel like I want, like, a healer. This guy, I remember he gives everybody crit chance, and whenever he crits, you get money. He's a pretty good character. If I don't want any of these, Gerald's a great character to take because he can just give us money, and then we can get rid of him. Um... You're cool. I feel like I play you a lot. Same with Renji. So I'll just get Gerald and we'll pivot out of him. Uh, but what do we have here? Whenever you surge, you gain 6 defense and 60 max HP. This is nice. Cast Ascend, triggering all of your whenever you surge effects twice. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. When... Okay. The wearer's spell power is equal to or above 70. The wearer gains 4 mana regen. Do we want you to have a lot of mana regen? Kind of. Kind of, yeah. It's just spell power, spell power is definitely at that limit. So we're going to forge those two things together, turn it into a new item that gets the effects of both of them. It's a very cool thing. And then when we get to the fire, we can improve that item even further. All right. What is your ability? Send a beam to the furthest hero dealing spell damage. It scales with range dealing more damage the closer the target is. So what we basically want to do with that is put somebody really far away. And that laser is going to be uninterrupted. That's the, that's the hope. This seems fine. One plus an additional one for every seven. You can gain up to eight per fight from this relic. All right, is this laser going to go where I want it? Yep. So that is ideal. Okay. Okay, we got a healer. Chris heals the party. For every 100 healing done, gain a nature orb. I mean, you... You have magic potion. Every four seconds, heal the lowest HP hero for 60 plus 50% spell power. Certainly not bad. You absorb health from... Yeah, okay, let's just get Chris. He's a healer. He's a nice passive healer. Ooh! 110 spell power, but plus three max mana. That actually seems... That seems like a good little mix there. I need to get something for... I mean... Heal the lowest HP hero for your spell power. So that doesn't matter what your attack speed is for that. So I think I'll grab the power staff. That actually might be good on you, too. Gain three additional nature orbs. Fire all of them in quick succession at random targets. Okay. For every healing done, you gain a nature orb. The max stack of ten. Gotcha. So we want to heal up a bunch. All right. If you have played a auto chess game, sort of like a team fight tactics or something, you may be saying, well, what about those little set bonuses where I have nine mages, so I do 
triple spells. Those are not in this game. They're replaced with something that I consider to be better, or at least lets you get more wild builds, because you don't need to have nine mages to do the mage effect. These, we just get to pick one. And that's the only, that's the catch. We can only have one. That's, that's the penalty. However, we don't need any specific setup, and it is immediately active. And there's a billion of them. It's nuts. All heroes gain three spell power per max mana on the hero with the highest mana. That could be good. All heroes gain critical strike damage equal to 80% spell power of the hero with the highest spell power, which I gotta say is really high. Every five mana regenerated with mana regen deals spell damage equal to 15 times the amount of debuffs on the enemy with the most debuffs. All heroes gain defense equal to 10% of the team's spell power, capping at 300 defense. I actually really like that because I have a very aggressive build. All right. I know I said all right a lot. There's just so much to cover and I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to do it efficiently. So we're going to go for an enchant. We can trade 15 health. We're at a bonfire. We have a certain amount of actions to do. One action was picking this. We, at another fire, we could replace it with a different one. We're not locked into this for the whole game, but I might be. Uh, I might want to be. We can also spend it to enchant items, which is basically doubling the effect of the magic part. Trade 15 health away to make it so... I mean, I guess we can look exactly what it does now. It turns into a purple. Uh, when the wearer's spell power is above 70, you get 8 mana regen. Obviously, could be very good. I have nothing left to enchant. So we are going to rest and heal up for 25. We spent all of our actions. Bada bing, bada boom. Treasure. We got an event, 40% chance to get 350 bucks, 60% chance to fight a mimic. So a thing that this guy does that's kind of nice for my brain is he randomizes the starting position. It doesn't matter what I do. Uh, the characters are going to get jumbled up. Gains 5% damage reduction and 25% attack speed, reducing all heroes' defense by 15%. 15. So... The longer the fight goes on, the spookier things are. I should be okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. We got we got to do the math to figure out how many trophies. So we get one plus one for every sevens. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Plus five surge slowdown. Whenever you surge, the wearer gains five spell power and 4% spell power is so good. It does increase our uh, the amount that our surge goes up. Does it say where our, what our current cap is? Is it 15? Yeah, I guess it's just 15. Celeste. Surge slowdown 10. Celeste casts Rune of Unity, granting mana regen equal to your surge level to all other heroes for 5 seconds. That seems good. Whenever mana regen generates mana, gain 9 energy. Uh, welcome aboard. Oh boy. For every 700 damage dealt by the wearer, trigger all whenever you surge effects on the wearer. I'm aware. You're the only one with whenever you surge, but you also don't do very much damage. I think I'm going to buy this for the future. Whenever you surge, the wearer gains 100 max HP and receive a heal for the same amount. I think that's really good for rune. Let's get some HP. HP spell power sounds good. Okay, we've done a lot of stuff here. 
Let's proceed. Let's figure out what the hell we're doing. I think I'm getting rid of you. Getting rid of you. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Go ahead and combine this and this. This is a tank item. Rune loves high max HP. So he does uh, additional damage based off of the max HP. And he heals based off of that damage that he does. So vis-a-vis, -vis, he likes a lot of HP. It gives him more damage and more healing. Additionally, uh, when getting a shield from any source, heal for 3% of your max HP. So having a high flat amount of max HP, obviously very good. Every six seconds, get a shield equal to 3% of your max HP. So we also have a kind of like a main tank now. I would consider you to be, I suppose, our off tank. I think we're lacking in like damage. So maybe we could do a little bit of this. I'm afraid of your laser. So the lasers are going to go here. Fragment of Truth. I think we can turn it on. Oh, boy. I really am trying to stack up my trophies. I'm greeting. I'm greeting something fierce. Okay. Things are looking pretty good, though. Not bad. So, uh, what you need to know about what I just did, I made the fight harder for myself on purpose so that I would get this piece. We need three pieces to fight the true final boss. When the wearer gets at or lower than 35% of their max HP, max man is halved. Whoa. That could be better. Something to that. Oh, uh, but I don't want to I don't want to have my surge slowdown increase by too much. Whenever you surge, the wearer gains a mana regen. I gotta tell you, it's really good with you, though. Whenever you surge effects go twice. I think I get that for you. I can get your mana regen going like crazy. I, I don't know how to pivot that into damage yet. But we're waiting for f <laughs> 50 trophies. If I can get through this zone... Without using any trophies, we're in a good spot. Advanced tooltips. Press tab or middle mouse to display an advanced tooltip. Ah, I was wondering, because, yeah, they're not the old tooltips. Boop. They get really detailed if you want them to. Uh, you do AOE. I think we'll have you get most of their attention if we can. There, I like that. You you got most of their attention. Maybe we do it like this. Uh, there, that's not bad. I do want to spread out a little bit. Because he does AoE that tries to... Yeah. I mean, we'll give it a shot. He's going to hit right here with that anyways. Oof. That magic damage is pretty spooky. God, look at that. Even though the surge cap is so high, it doesn't matter. Okay. This is new. We, this is tweaked. Swap two passives between your heroes, change a passive into one of three others, or keep what you have. Yeah, choose one of three heroes to join your party and also get four trophies. 
I really do want to get my trophy so that I can... I know I don't need to do it this way. I could spend some, but I'm, I'm a gambling man. I'm holding on to it to get maximum value so we can get the full eight. Swap two passives. We don't have any passives. We actually have to do this. <laughs> um, I don't think we're... I, I do know what these do. I'll hover over these so you can pause if you want to look. But we are going to be saying... Recover 80% of the... I mean, we don't even need to kick you. There's no reason to. Spell power we know is good. It just gives us more... Um, more defense as well. Attack speed max HP is not bad. Do you care about crits? Not really. Whoop. Okay. Whenever you surge, the wearer gains a mana regen. I mean, I... I could put that on you, but... It's really only going to be good if you are actively tanking. I I think we um we don't do the Fragment of Truth stuff until the next zone if we're going to be hoarding. Okay, so you're tanking. These guys do AoE, and uh, when another Titan dies, gains attack damage, etc., etc., So basically, we kind of want to kill him at the same time. But in another way, it's pretty beneficial to focus down the one, and then we'll split everything else up. We could maybe get away with the Fragment of Truth here, but... I'm just going to say nah. Whew. All right, I can spend a, I can spend two trophies. All heroes gain twenty percent. Gain a spell power for every fifty coins you have. Huh. Huh. I guess I could try and hoard some more money. Whenever you surge, the wearer gains 10% attack damage, loses 2% attack speed. It's kind of a thing. It would be a thing if... It would be a thing if you had... Something that benefited from attack damage. I could get this and keep it as a possibility for the future. Because I definitely don't want to put that on yet, because it's just... Penalty for nothing. Uh, new boss. Every eight seconds, Rash will call troops, summoning four of Rash's mercenaries. Locations marked on the map. They have 8% of his max HP and 50% of his attack damage. Their first attack inflicts corruption and taunts the target. Corruption makes him take more damage. Does damage split between target and nearby heroes. feels right I can spend two trophies but it's also like why even bother I guess I do it to prove that I can you know what screw it we'll go, we'll go for we'll lose one trophy every third active ability cast your active ability twice sure okay there's the summons. I'm curious about this AoE here. It gets split. Uh, it's a little bit yikes. Oh my god. Okay, this new boss is a little bit spooky. New boss is a little bit spooky here. Oh boy. Oh, not even.
even close. This guy's nuts. So you died. I'm really glad we didn't increase the HP. And now we can actually spend some trophies optimally. For the rest of the game, I have successfully min-maxed. <laughs> I don't think we're going to go for anything. If any... I mean, there's a chance. I'm aware of kind of what you do. On cast, consume all shock on the target to gain defense per shot consumed. It's not bad. Whenever the wearer receives damage from any source, the wearer deals ethereal damage to their target equal to 3% of their max HP. That's just very good. We can turn our... We can turn our HP... Hold on. 2,500... Rune definitely has more right now, but the other one... The other character has the opportunity to get more if we really, really go crazy with this. But then we'll just swap the item off, right? When the fight starts, all heroes gain a spell power and 3% spell power per stack of enchanted feather. For every floor visited, you get a stack... When you enter a campfire, it lose half your stacks. You know, I could probably just take that. Gain 75% in money you have. I don't know. We can take that, try and avoid fires. Mm. Avoid fires, avoid spending money. Okay, so we have... Uh... We have trophies to spend. Every attack, the hero has a chance to stun the target. Sure. Every four attacks, if you're below 50% HP, gain 25 defense. Otherwise, they deal ethereal damage equal to the hero's defense to the target. There we go. We've got something off the ground. Every time the hero heals a hero, every five attacks, heal for 20% attack damage. It's not great, because I don't think you... Yeah, you don't do very much. You don't heal. You're not going to be missing much HP. I guess we get restorative strikes, and we maybe pivot that into something else later. Does damage in a cone in front of him. So basically, simple as get them out of the cone. It's basically an attention slash reading check. But we should be good to go. Rune's doing a good job of staying alive, all things considered. Eleven freaking trophies. Don't mind if I do. 48 defense. Okay. So, Juggernaut defense, otherwise they deal ethereal damage equal to their defense to the target. So, basically, huge defense, huge damage. That's the plan. Mm. We might actually be able to... You might do enough damage now for this to be something. I don't know. I don't know. More defense. Every time the hero heals a hero, by any means, all heroes gain two spell power, stacking five times. Sure. Okay, stay at 50. So we get spell power for uh, the money we have, but if something's really cool, then we'll go for it. Get some more shock. I do think this could be very good, but... 
Five to surge, slow down every two seconds, gain an energy for, for every four spell power is huge. God, what do I do? Wait. Wait. Why do I do it that way? We'd rather have it on that. Waste a little bit of money, but I think it's good. So, five to the surge slowdown, but every two seconds gain an energy for every four spell power. You have so much spell power. That seems so dumb. I love it. Whenever a hero other than the wearer gets below 50% HP, they gain 50% of the wearer's current spell power. That's so cool, but also a little crazy. I think we just chill. We keep the money we have. <laughs> Unless... I feel like we're going to be at the cap for this. I've really done a weird thing. Okay, avoid campfires. 51. I'm aware. I know. Lowest HP. Okay. So I'm putting... I put him over here so that... Um, the damage would only be hitting one target. We got a... Yeah, to a really high level there, considering... Reroll passive. Is there anything we could swap onto somebody else? No, that's good. Swap two passives. I could definitely do a reroll. It's not bad, but I feel like we could do better. Whoa. I, I, I didn't. I did not do better. For every crit, generate 50 energy. Whenever mana region generates mana, 16 energy. Could be good. Again, I'm not going to put it on until we are, are more confident. And as a whirlwind state does spell damage to anyone nearby, it will only be stopped when an orc spinner takes 20% of his max HP as damage. Okay, so I think we focus fire here. And then we have you go over there. Afterwards, mana regen... I feel like attack speed's good. Spell, his spells can't crit, for what it's worth. Attack speed's fine. We can cast his ult more, which is semi-good, semi semi-not. I think it's mostly good. I mean, get some more health. Yeah, my healing effects aren't great. I think that that's the thing. My sustain is meh. I don't know. You're not impressing me right now.
Every time the wearer shield gets a shield, max man is increased by one, and they get 30% shield received. Um, that's actually pretty darn good for rune. I feel like we can do better though. Mm. Oh boy. I'm not jazzed by any of this. When the wearer receives damage from any source, they gain 9 max HP and receive a heal for the same amount. Tortoise shield, that is a rune item if I've ever seen one, but we also don't have a we don't have a base component. That mixed with ethereal armor, it's pretty silly. Always targets the hero with the lowest HP. When a hero dies, big angry guy gains movement speed. So this is spooky. This is always a weird fight. Didn't care about mana regen, really, or ma magic damage, really. Fine, we can't level up anybody. We have 25 to spend. Okay, always tax the lowest. Lowest. Uh. Awkward. Very, very awkward. I don't know how to really do this. Because I don't... I don't know if we can really adjust our items around. That well. I don't really want you to be the one taking it. Yeah, this is... I always hate this fight just for this reason. I think I might just have to... I don't know. Grin and bear it. We have taunt. Does that do anything? Does taunt help? Nope. Incoming yikes. Thanks for that heal. So he's going to get his ability. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're screwed. Unless... No, we're, we're screwed. Ah, uh, right at the end here, too. Yeah, we need it. You need to change up your items on that fight. It's just... I, I find it tedious. I really don't. I don't like that one for that. Uh, but hey, tis with tis. 75 spell power, max mana. We can pop it on you. We don't, we're not dead. It's not good. I want an item for Tortoise Shield, because I feel like that helps me a lot here. And Caster's Cloak is fine. This is not bad at all, but we are looking for just, like, some raw help. Uh, I give up. Oh. Spell power, max HP. Not sure. Let's get off this screen. It's depressing. Let's go spend some more trophies, man. Avoid spending money. Avoid going to the campfire. Thank you. Okay, so we don't have to worry about janky targeting now. We need to get you to be a better... Um, 
off tank as well. Because right now we have a really good build for one person taking like lots of hits. On cast gain, uh, wait, it's Omni crit. On cast, gain 7% critical strike chance stacking three times on three stacks. You gain Omni crit, which is the ability for everything to now crit. Sure. We have six. We can get somebody up from 30. You need more spell power, more uh, more healing power that way. With 67, we're definitely not near the cap of that. Okay. Good. Yeah, something's not going with you. Something's not working very well. Every four attacks, if you're below 50% HP, you gain 25 defense. Maybe it's just that that 323 is just not that much. Or that your attack speed is pretty slow. And you get your attack speed up. Mmm. Mmm. Every three seconds, heal themselves for 25 per surge level. Feels like something. Every three seconds, heal for 25 per surge level. Okay, we know that we're at surge level seven right now, so that kind of gives us a guide. that on. Maybe you can actually off tank now. Cast your active ability twice. You can heal twice. Move up towards the elites. Holy moly. Okay, all the DPS is over here, so it should focus down that. I, you know what? I'm going to do it. I have faith. Against my better judgment, I have faith. Why are you doing that? I mean, because I guess it's because it's best targeting. I guess they're the most clumped up over there, huh? Uh, oh, boy. I mean, he's doing giga damage. Is 10 max... You can surge up to a cap of 10. That's why. Gotcha. All heroes gain 450 shield, but lose 350 health. For every minus 2% attack speed on all heroes... Gain one spell power and ethereal amplification. All heroes get 10% crit chance. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that can be pretty good. <laughs> it's stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So you're attacking like at nothing per second. Uh, but you're going to heal a lot. Get the orbs. Yep. Works out well. Yeah, I think that's fine. 
I feel like attack speed and defense for Neria is not bad, but I'm not too wowed by any of this. Aye, aye, aye. Take that. Who wants the spell power? You can't even use it. When you're at or below 50% HP. Inflict bleed all enemies. Gain critical strike chance the further you are from others. Every two attacks inflict a shock. Every time a hero stuns a target, they inflict a shock. So shock is something that makes it so they get stunned for longer. And it makes it so when your heroes activate abilities, then there's a chance that you might stun an enemy. I know I have trophies. I'm aware. Deals a thousand spell damage split between its target and nearby heroes. I think we want to do it like this. All right, works for me. What's that healing looking like? It's pretty good. But your damage is just so, so bad that you can't. You're, you're, you're a failed experiment right now. That is for sure. All right. Um, this can be changed. This could be changed. This could be changed. It's the most changeable. I feel like I'm I'm waiting to see what I'm going to do with you. Hmm. Two random heroes receive a mana. Sure. I think that we could do some stuff with that. Whenever a hero other than the wearer is healed for at least a thousand during this fight, they gain 35% of your current bonus attack speed. What the hell? Crits no longer deal damage with the attacks. An attack doesn't crit, you gain critical strike chance every critical strike. The wearer lose 20% critical strike and apply bleed to all enemies. A lot of, lot of stuff going on there. I don't, uh, I don't really. I don't really know. I guess Celeste will make you like a, a, a mana regen and attack speed kind of son of a gun, I suppose. Proceed. I gotta tell you. I'm gonna lose half my sacks. I need I need to heal. Anything crazier here? Hundred percent of overhealing done by the team. Deal spell damage. I don't have a whole lot of shielding done. Don't have any frost. The hero with the highest max HP. As an aura dealing spell damage equal to 40% of the team's bonus max HP every three seconds. That could be good, but we're getting so much defense from this. What would we enchant? That actually could be kind of silly. Tortoise shield could be good. I think that could be good. Every three seconds. Cause, so we'll get, it'll get capped. So it'll be 50. So 50 times, you know, times 10, we get 500 heal every three seconds is pretty freaking good. But we'll do that for the max HP. Uh, 
new boss. Crystal of Life has 10% of the max HP as Malroth. Provides rejuvenation attacks passive to Malroth. Every attack, heal all enemies, including himself, and excluding the Crystal of Life for 100% of his attack damage. Whenever the Crystal of Life gets destroyed, Malroth loses the regeneration attack passives. Gotcha. Oh, Lord. We do need to get the orc spinners out of the way, too. But then how are we focusing down this? I mean, you're not going to do that on your own. I mean, this is kind of like we have to Fragment of Truth now, otherwise we're not going to be able to do it. Like, I'm not going to be able to do it later. Right? I don't know. Just, just for peace of mind. Bye bye Okay, so... The cast is going to rip this apart. That helps a lot. Third cast goes double. He's doing well. Ooh, wait, he's... He's reflecting so much damage back over there. He's carrying? He's carrying by himself? Finish a fight with a hero at 400 defense. Finish a fight with a hero at 5,000 max HP. Oh god, there's achievements now. It's exciting. Recruit a hero. James. James is a healer and a good one at that. Third fragment of truth. We got all of them. <gasps> it me! Every four seconds, the wearer gains 15% of the attack damage of the hero with the highest attack damage other than the wearer and 20% of the spell power. The hero with the highest spell power on the wearer caps at 350. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm going to take it, but... What is it good for? I mean, it gives me the spell power. Shields the lowest percent HP. Uh, the hero with the most defense gains 55 defense. All heroes gain an attack damage for every 50 bucks you have. You know, as silly as it sounds, I think that that actually might be pretty good, especially since we're already not spending money. Kind of. At least, hopefully. Attack speed. It's not a very exciting one. Wait. Alright, act four. Last full zone. Avoid the fire, avoid the shop. I know I have to amaze. I'm aware. For every other demon archer targeting the same hero, it gains 20% attack speed and 20% attack damage. Uh, I mean, we'll split up some. It's the anti-main tank... ...thing, so... Alright, should be fine. I don't have great control over this, uh, AoE, you know? It's my highest damage dealing thing aside from just the fact that this man is spiky. Okay. So something. I feel like we can do better. Whoa. The wearer's attacks deal additional ethereal damage equal to 40% of their spell powers. Pretty fun. 
I'm kind of screwed over Chris at this point, though. On that front, I feel like we can do better, but we're going to have to say no at some point. Every five seconds, the wearer receives a shield equal to... I mean, that could be good. That's pretty good. You don't have any on surge effects still, right? No, you don't have any on surge. Um, I think we take this. This makes you a more effective off tank. I do need to go to his shop to split that up if I want to. Summons an orb at the furthest corner, sending two interceptable beams towards the furthest and closest hero. Hmm. So the corner will be here. That should be fine. Oh, we're at 63. That's the weird thing about having this cap be what it is. You know, it's, it is just a little goofy. Okay. Gain one mana regen for every three max mana. It's not that exciting, but I do know you like mana regen. That's kind of what we're setting up for you. Every attack has a... Gain two attack damage, 15 seconds. That'll be crit. 15% chance to attack another time rapidly, I guess. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't know you could even do that from there. I'm getting rid of... I'm getting rid of you. I appreciate Chris. I ain't changing it at this point. Um, at some point, we are going to pivot into using all of our stuff. More defense. I'll figure it out. I'll figure you out. Healing Helm's pretty good. I feel like this is fine. Spell power and defense. Attack damage, spell power. Oh boy. I'm looking for spell power. Or attack. I mean, sure. We'll get the attack speed. We'll go for some combinations. Fine. It's a little bit weird. The surge slowdown of it all. You do not care about spell power whatsoever. You do care a little bit about the attack speed. So whenever any hero under other than this battle is here for at least a thousand. Doesn't have to be from me. Doesn't have to be from me. Does it have to be a 1,000 heal at once, though? That's I guess that's my big question at the moment. All right. Uh, uh, boop. Th that we do. We go. So, laser. So, we kind of need somebody here. Oh, that ain't great. Oh, this is going to be... I I, ooh, I think I messed that up, but we might kill fast enough for it to not matter. Okay. No, that's kind of what I expected, but it is also a problem because he's taking 60% more damage. 90% more damage. Starting to become a problem there. Got up to eight. Huh. 
<laughs> Magic Blade is goofy. Every second, I mean, so it's actually really good for Chris. Gain a lot of spell power. Man, you are the one with the highest spell power now. Okay, we can upgrade somebody from 55. I'll go for Chris. Heal. I don't really... I don't want you to have attack speed, I guess, at this point. Oh, this is, this is not helpful. Defensive form stops attacking, gain damage reduction. It's just, it's just not, yeah, it's not helpful. The good news is we do that AoE, so we're going to be able to get this guy smacked a bit. He's an anti-melee. Or anti-auto attack kind of a guy. The good news is I don't care that much about that. Okay, good. Those numbers get up there. I am not convinced that our, our abilities are uh, where they should be. I feel like you are... You are missing your full potential, and I don't know if I'm going to get there. On cast, gain 10% attack speed. Forty percent attack speed. Ay, ay. So you're looking for mana regen. This is not super exciting for you, but whatever. Get a 55 up to max and still be good. Uh, yeah, you want it? You, you're you're my attack speed person. Okay, if we go here, we have to go to the fire. We lose half of our stacks. Don't want to do that. Give 200 bucks to get bluff. All heroes get 15% attack speed when the fight starts. Permanent buff. Um. So I lose, what, four... Uh, uh, bit, bit, bit. Four spell power and four attack damage. 70% chance for buff. I'm not... We're, we're three fights away from the boss, basically. One that I also haven't fought before, so... Split between the target and nearby. Demonic bolts towards all other... In oh, God. Towards all other enemies. This is a weird one. Stop. I've never heard that one before. We're going to probably cash out on our trophies at some point soon here. It's very odd, but should be fine this way. Yep, we, we split out. We split the balls pretty well. All right, come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Good to go. Don't forget your loot. Oh, I, I wasn't trying to. There's something there. We got the nine with that fight. I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting slightly faster surge at this point. Whenever the wearer crits, they gain the three percent attack speed, but lose some crit. I guess. I really need to get that on my other jabroni. 
I think that that's a very useful tool. Keep the option in case I change my mind. What do you do? Heal enemies. Ritual. Damage in a cone. I think that you can actually... I think you can be there and it's fine. Can level somebody up for 55. I'm probably going to cash out at this point, though. And, uh... Not... Well, not all the way, but... Critical Strike Chance, actually awesome for you, because the Omni. Alright, what's what's your survivability looking like? Pretty decent. I wish somebody else had on Surge effects that were more impressive. Because you really... You did not impress me. I feel like we are sitting on a mountain of potential that didn't turn into anything with her. Just the items aren't showing up that would that would be anything. Anyone have a really high max mana? I mean, everyone has pretty high max mana. Huh. <laughs> Every five seconds, wear against shield equal to 100% spell power. We can turn that into... We can turn somebody into an off tank. Yeesh. I think that's fine. Okay, we go one more. Otherwise, what? Wow me. It's fine. This is very spooky, but at least the AoE is going up there. I know he's taking that extra. Doing fine. Why'd the book move across the screen like that? Man, the fact that he took a 60% damage upgrade and he is hard countered by, like... I don't know, that's wacky. Gee, I wonder what this is... The wear gains infinite range, but their taunts aren't effective every second. The wear gains 2% attack speed, spell power for every... It is cool. I don't want any of this right now, though. The wearer builds up a Rampaging Quake, a spell that grows in damage and in size. Every two attacks, the wearer unleashes Rampaging Quake, dealing spell damage to enemies' hits. It's equal to 50% attack damage, 50% spell power for every second of building up. It actually is really good for... It's actually really good for Chris. Like, really good for Chris? Because he attacks so slow. We built a, a really strong build out of that guy. Um, huh. Could swap this. For, I don't I don't really care about any of those swaps. I don't care about double attack that much either. I feel like you could have gotten something way better too. I 
I'm disappointed. Should have got trophies. Should have got the trophies. Rock Arm smashes the ground, dealing spell damage to his target and nearby heroes. If after Rock Arm dies, if any Rock Arm is still alive, it rises back up. So we kind of want to have them all clumped together. So that the book will be splitting against them evenly, hopefully. That's not what I wanted. Okay. I feel like Chris, yeah, Chris is actually starting to do some damage. So that he is going to come back up. Our DPS is not that incredible. Low. Start of the fight, a hero, which is at least... Mm, two hex tile buffs, minus two max mana, but lose eight attacks. Or eight, it could be good. When the fight starts, heroes gain full mana and cast their active ability twice. After 10 seconds, they get stunned for 2.5 seconds. That's interesting, actually. It's... It would be for this. Enemies start with 15 burn and have a burn cap of 15. So I can't actually check what that does, but I... There we go. It wouldn't let me do it over there. Um, every attack heroes deal ethereal damage equal to the amount of burns on the enemy. Other ethereal damage from abilities effects is increased by 1.5% per burn. So we have some ethereal effects. It's just, it could be good. Let's look at my pieces. Defense, spell power. Like lots of spell power. Okay. Lots of defense. Looking for spell power. I mean, it's both on the same freaking thing, I guess. Mm. Alright, we'll think about that. What's your deal? I, another new one. Slaying Queen! At the start of the fight, in every seven seconds, Slaying Queen recalls the dead, which summons five specters. Location marked. That have... Okay. Slaying Queen gains life steal for every specter alive, but if no specter is alive, she would instead inflicts corruption. Oh, weird stuff. Weird. I don't know how I feel about this. We we're gonna we're gonna get some level ups going. I know we're going under at this point, but it doesn't really matter. Spell power, magical steel. That's extra healing from our cast. Sounds nice. Life steal, attack damage, critical strike chance. Ah. Uh... I guess you like attack damage now. We'll leave it at 26. I mean, it's going to make a difference. It might not. All right. I wish that was more impressive. I think we're good. And by that, I mean, we'll see how this goes. We're definitely going to have these alive. Okay, boss is getting exploded upon. <laughs> Look at the damage from Rune. <laughs> Win a run on adventure. That counts as a, as a victory. But I do know there's one more. Gain 1% attack speed for every two 
It's a little bit weird, but I'll do it. A little bit weird with some of the other stuff. Proceed. Because we were able to put together the pieces, we are going to be in the final fight. All right. Uh, 120 for everything. Ah. So... Doesn't really matter. Okay, a reminder on this fight. I do not remember fully. Deal spell damage split between its targets nearby heroes. And spawn four corrupted hands. They have low HP, but apply corruption mark, making it so they take more damage. On death, it rages all other enemies. Sends an interceptable orb spell at the furthest hero. So we kind of want to put somebody... So you go here, you go here. Furthest hero, I don't care that much about you. Target in nearby. Uh, I think he, I think he might be able to take the whole thing, but that's kind of tricky. This this is a this is messy. I'm not that confident in you taking these, but he's got to take all of this as a result, which is spooky. We need an uninterrupted line there. All right, I don't feel very confident. In this... I mean, because you're going to get a lot of corruption. Eh? Is he going to... I think he might... Be fine over here? Time... Oh, God. As time goes on, things ramp up for the enemies. It's actually looking very close in a bad way. Increased damage and attack speed over here. But all of our focus is on you. Person in the corner got absolutely nuked. Speaking of absolutely nuked, we got it. Oh, I technically I lost. <laughs> I saw the hand die, I thought. Whatever. It's uh, you know, tis what tis. That is too close for comfort. I did not have... I never found the items to um, to activate my defensive gal. Like, and yeah, my damage was lacking. We had some good survivability, but as you can see, enemies ramp up over the course of time. It eventually becomes a problem. But I'll count that as a win because it was literally a picture, you know, like a photo finish that I kill them when I died, but whatever. Alas, alas, that is that. It's good doing here for today for The Last Flame. If you guys want more of this, do let me know in the form of a comment down below, but make sure to pick up the game for yourself. It is finally out. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.